dodge it. Oh, even at high percent? Yeah, even at high percent. Okay. But you can mix that up with a 50-50 with an up smash. So okay. it's just ridiculous nonetheless. Yeah, Ness's smash is also a little bit better this time around. Man, I thought I've seen like Best Ness get the, the true combo with that. But either way, uh, Dark Matter player who's really been on the come up, partially due to his own improvements, partially, I'd say, due to Ness being a little bit better. Oh, just smart of her up being out of that situation, but still in a disadvantage out here. Ness's um, PK Thunder 2, heavily stronger, has a lot more knockback, and not a lot of people figured out how to get down from it. So we're going to see how Supergirl Kells find, finds her landings. Because Dark Matter can shark with that. Yeah, one of the best ways to just take one hit and extend it a little bit further. Put your opponent back in a bad situation. Mm, and that nair. Yeah, you know the visuals look like it's a bigger move, but I actually yeah. don't think it is because that was so disjointed yeah. in all the other Smash games. Just hit him from like a mile away from his hand. I don't know, I could be wrong though. Maybe they did improve the hitbox straight up. Yeah. Dark Matter forced to recover in a really ugly spot. If he can bounce off the wall, ooh, oh, ho, ho. was just not his day. And that's one of the caveats of playing that. You have a bad offstage game. Love that snipe from Dark Matter, and he's keeping it going. Yeah, Picks six, up a back air too. 66% from that conversion. Just look at him go. They're near out of shield, trying to punish the homing attack. It is actually safe on block. Yeah, that's one of the most annoying moves. Free. Maybe, yo, Ness up be out of shield. Yeah, yeah. Is that the spark you need to punish the homing attack? I think it's still probably too slow to get the yeah. under going. Still, Dark Matter keeping himself low to the ground with that side magnet. Cut off his rising momentum from the short hop. Yeah, it is one of the movement options added to Ness in this game. He did not have it in any previous game, from my knowledge. Uh, you could do it, but it's just way better now. The hitbox comes yeah. out. Well, I mean... The fact that it has a hitbox at all, I think, is... Yeah, uh, it's kind of crazy. It's huge, yeah. And that's it? Oh, it's a grab. Not taking it. And there we go. He can hold the charge on that down smash for as long as he wants, and the repeating hitbox stays out, just like Korin's forward smash with the chainsaw. That, that's kind of ridiculous. Yeah, I love the way Kel played around it, though. Just yeah. going up, using back air and her aerial drift to get back. Yeah, Smarter Kel's using the spring to try to lessen the, height, the distance of Ness's up B, because when it hits a hitbox, it goes less, or further distance. And did, did he just kill with Dare? I believe so. And nice air dodge. Ness also having one of the highest air dodges up in the game allowing him to have more mix-ups recovery. And there he does it right there to get the ledge. Yeah, Ness the air dodge machine, man. <laughs> Even though air dodges aren't exactly what they were in Smash 4, he still manages to get away with having one of the best. Okay, and this game is even. Use that PK Thunder. Yes, catches the neutral getup on the return trajectory. Okay. Oh, just missing it. So close. Yeah, good job to Kells for DI'ing away. Strike so one. <laughs> but it doesn't look like Dark Matter is too worried about that. Just going to get a couple base hits. Yeah. Keep racking up the points. And Dark Matter trying to heavily call out that read for the jump. He knows Kells been full hopping out of disadvantage. And he's just trying to call her out on one. Yeah, looking for those up bears. Trying to catch her out of the sky. Ooh, and that forward air could have been really dangerous putting Ness out at that angle, but back throw. Gotta love it, man. That move is not going anywhere. It's been here since 64, and that's going to put Dark Matter in the set advantage here over Supergirl Kells. Saw a couple things contribute to that win. Say one, really the PK Thunder Chase is super good at keeping Sonic on his toes, extending hits that wouldn't really normally lead into anything. Then we saw a lot of PK fire getting yeah. in the way of her spin dashes. Of course, since she can't cancel it into shield, she's locked into that when yeah. she starts the side B. PK fire also now auto cancels. Basically, if he does an aerial one, when but as of before he had a bunch of lag. Right, right. You have to saw. You have to see the uh, full hot PK fire and then down air to cancel the landing lag. But it's a little bit easier right. to do that now. Also, uh, got to shout out the team EMG. Let's go, Kels. Repping the squad. That's their crew. Huh? That's their crew, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a good crew right there. Born and raised in Canada, but now expanding on over to the Tri-State region, of course. All right. And we're going to Smash Bros. The Smash Bros. Classic. 
Okay, we're gonna see the air dodge. Yep, but yeah. Dark Matter is still able to cover that with the return of the yo-yo. Yeah, and the what is it? Spin dash on shield into homing attack. Into Sonic air one. Yeah, the Sonic special. Yeah, gotta make your combos a little bit more creative in this game. Also, Sonic's up air known for dropping after the first hit in ultimate. What yeah. a lot of players would describe as the move not working, quote unquote. Uh, I think that's just fine. Um, oh. And up air is killing. Such a brutal move, man. And you know, even though I definitely miss his headbutt, yeah. the fact that that one stays out the whole time and then at the end it kills you makes me feel like you could be a little bit sloppier with it and yeah. still get the timing and still get a kill. There's definitely more applications to it, too. It's not just like a raw damage move like it was before. Yeah, I really like the landing up air. That was super good, but uh, either way, it looks like the Nest players have certainly figured out a way to compensate for it. Sonic, though, I still want to see some creativity from these players. I mean, Supergirl Kells always has been one of the most creative Sonic players. Um, so if anyone's going to bring this character back to prominence in Ultimate, I think she's got a good shot at claiming that title. Wow, such an unfortunate knockback angle from that spin dash. Yeah, he, it felt like he just kind of fell out. There we go, forward air, gonna close it out. Kells still on the back foot here, 60% down, but there is hope for sure. And 79%, that's basically like one or, one or two conversions, but this is not looking good. She's now gaining attacking on, getting attacked on more percent, and that homing attack sending her off stage. Is that it? No. Dark Matter looking real good to take this set right now. If he gets this stock relatively soon, then Kells is going to have to make a crazy comeback just to stay alive and bring it to a third game. Could be very mentally draining. One advantage he has going for her, though, is that Ness is a really slow character on the ground. So it's tough for him to keep up with Sonic's speed, but all you got to do is wait for that spin dash to miss, intercept it with one of your huge aerials. Yeah, she just called out her jump out of from this from the spin dash, which she's been doing a lot. So he's catching on to the pattern that she does outside of the spin dash, which are not necessarily safe. All right, let's see what happens in there. They both just reset back to neutral. And Dark Matter, respect, give the spin dash a lot more respect. And the yo-yo. Oh, that was not a good get-up attack. Next one might be death at the edge like that, even below 100%. Excuse me, 100%. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oh, getting back here right off. Oh, I think he tried to sniper. He might have, yeah. I think Dark Matter just rushed that recovery, hoping maybe to trade with a uh, hasty Kels. Yeah. You know what, even though this percent lead is looking great for Dark Matter, one thing that you can never take away from Kells is her mentality is amazing. This is a player who will never count herself yeah. out. And she's already building this back. Is she gonna hang on? She's definitely in the comeback character. Oh, okay, no! Is that it? Oh, smart of Dark Matter, though, to go for the high yeah. coverage with up air. Uh-oh, this, this might be happening right now. What do you have, Kells? Let's see it. Only 30% down now, but in danger of dying to so many moves from Ness. Chief among them, that down smash at the edge. Just gonna leave it there, wait for her to come off the edge. He noticed, you know, when she shoots across the stage, one of her only safe returns is to grab the edge. And Ness, great at covering that, make you really regret choosing an option yeah, like that. She also re-grabbed the ledge right there. Yeah. So, either way, she, she was done for it. Re-grabbing ledge does not give you invincibility as it does in like pre previous Smash games other than Smash 4. Yeah, all the uh, previous, previous yeah. ones.